275 days, 32 victories, only one defeat. Cody's got one more shot, crossroads. The American Nightmare delivers the hat trick. We have a new World Heavyweight Champion! Cody Rhodes digging down deep, reminding himself about what it took to get to this moment. The prodigal son on top of the world. Gunther and his empire have come crashing down by hands of one American Nightmare! And that new World Heavyweight Champion, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, is in the house tonight, and he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser. The challenge thrown out by Kaiser, Cody meets him in the main event. Also tonight, the new Women's World Champion, Roxanne Perez, has a choice of a tag team partner as she goes up against the former champion, Raquel Rodriguez, and somebody who's looking for some revenge in the LWO's Selena Vega. All that and more coming up tonight on the SmackDown after SummerSlam. We are live from the Nationwide Arena, Columbus, Ohio. Three weeks from tomorrow, we are heading to No Mercy in Montreal. But who is going to move one step closer to becoming number one contenders for Tag Team Gold? Back here on Friday Night SmackDown tonight are the former WWE Tag Team Champions in Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio. Of course, losing their tag team titles back at the beginning of August at Saturday Night's main event to Angel and Birdo. The LWO looking to move one step closer to regaining the gold. Santos Escobar also individually looking to bounce back from that singles loss to Andrade last week here on SmackDown. But the team opposing them, no strangers to the LWO. And as a matter of fact, it's a WrestleMania rematch. It's a Super SmackDown rematch. They have split the difference throughout 2024. Who will claim number one contendership here at Columbus, Ohio? Well, A-Town Down Under's recent running buddy in the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, did not have a smile on his face this past Saturday night, to say the least. Running into the great one, The Rock, who originally planned to be the SummerSlam guest host, but thanks to the actions of Randy Orton earlier this summer, found himself in in-ring competition. The Rock looking great from bell to bell against a game Randy Orton, and in the end, The Great One, marching into Detroit, Michigan, getting his revenge on the man who has dropped him with numerous RKOs throughout the summer. A disappointing night for the Viper Randy Orton. The great one, The Rock, standing tall in Ford Field. But now we move forward as A-Town down under looks to claim top contendership. Well, as for Theory and Waller, they're just a few weeks removed from a tag team victory in the main event here on SmackDown against Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. Two men who are looking to do one good by the almighty Bobby Lashley, who has been sidelined since the first half of July, thanks to the actions of Randy Orton. Orton's gonna have to go back to the drawing board after falling short against The Rock this past Saturday night. But as for Theory and Waller, A-Town Down Under are looking to get back the Tag Team Championship gold that was taken away from them by Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar several months ago. Well, now a new team sits at the helm of the division, that being Angel Garza and Humberto. 
Of course, led by the mastermind Andrade, who has joined forces with those two gentlemen as of late. Both of these teams, what in top contendership for the tag team gold? Who is going to punch their ticket? What is going to be an awesome night of action here on SmackDown? We fight on Friday nights. The new world heavyweight champion, Cody Rhodes, overcoming the feat that was the ring general Gunther this past Saturday night. Cody will be in action later here on SmackDown. Well, the bell has sounded for the first of two tag team bouts here tonight in Columbus, Ohio. As we mentioned at the top of the hour, the new women's world champion also in the house of the nationwide arena. The choice of a tag team partner is two women who are looking to settle the score at the Prodigy. Raquel Rodriguez and Selena Vega looking to get them some of the Prodigy. Roxanne Perez here tonight. But here we go. Santos Escobar, Grayson Waller kicking things off. Escobar has been hot out of the gate, and you got to expect nothing less from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Frustration has got to be boiling over for the LWO as of late. Angel and Berto taking away the Tag Team Championships, of course, earlier in the month of August. Thanks to the help of Andrade, Santos Escobar looking to do one good by the LWO last week. Unfortunately, was knocked off by Alita Lowe himself. Now here's the Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio, trying to do some damage in this matchup against the Aussie icon. Grayson Waller, however, popping his shoulder off the canvas. Mysterio and Santos Escobar took down eight town down under for the gold back at Super Smackdown in June. Can they do it again here tonight? Speaking of championship altercations here on Smackdown, two men who are gunning for the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Tyler Bate, will clash later tonight on Smackdown. The Bruiserweight Butch, the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough. It's a rematch from the month of July, and it's coming up later tonight here in the Nationwide Arena. Austin Theory tagged in, looking to be a difference maker for eight town down under. Mysterio dipping it, dodging, float over by Theory and a DDT. As we mentioned, Theory and Waller just a few weeks removed from a massive tag team victory in the main event against Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. The Street Profits may have fought a very physical and blinded by red battle on that night. But regardless, it was a victory for eight town down under. Mysterio, however, looking for it to be a different result tonight. Ray Mysterio moving like it's 1995 off that springboard destroyer into the ring. Theory might still be in this matchup, but he's got to be feeling the effects. Talked about the victory for the LWO several months ago. Eight town down under have also scored one over Mysterio and Escobar, dating back to earlier this year at WrestleMania Sunday. Victory that won in the Tag Team Championships, also on them the SmackDown side of the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Grayson Waller tagged in and immediately going for the kill. Blockbuster, unprettier. Win, lose, or draw. Escobar's going to be feeling that one on Saturday morning. But Santos getting back into it. Both these teams hungry for opportunity. Angel and Birdo currently sitting comfortably at the top of the division. But these two teams gunning for the tag team gold they previously held. Back and forth we start to go between eight town down under and Latino World Order here on SmackDown. Austin Theory tagged in after Grayson Waller thought he was going to turn the tables and then Escobar started to rev up the engines. See if the power game by Austin Theory can be the difference maker. Not if Escobar's got anything to say about it. We talked about it earlier in this matchup. Santos certainly fighting an emotional battle here tonight. LWO itching to get their hands on Angel and Birdo and I'm sure a pound of flesh from Andrade as well. Look at Santos with a hat trick of suplex variations. Austin Theory has certainly looked better in previous occasions. Tilt to whirl, Escobar has got his foot on the ass pedal into the cover. And almost winning number one contendership that time. Unfortunately, Austin Theory is still in it for the LWO's luck. Oh, wait a minute. Theory could be getting hit with a second destroyer. You know that Escobar loves to dish it out, but there's a counter by the man from A-Town and a pump kick. Escobar's got to be seeing stars. Oh, no. 
And if he wasn't already, getting dropped right on Theory's knee will certainly rub some salt in the wounds. The Santos Escobar still into this match. Wait a minute, what the hell? Wait, that's Bobby Lashley and Randy Orton. Lashley's got Randy Orton backstage here in the Nationwide Arena. We have not seen the Almighty since the month of July. Over in London, England, when Randy Orton RKO'd him on the concrete floor. Well, Randy Orton already falling short to The Rock several nights ago at SummerSlam. And it looks have matters. Just got worse. Randy Orton sent right into the glass by the Almighty. Bobby Lashley has re-emerged here on SmackDown. And clearly Lashley was not waiting for in-ring competition. He's finding Randy Orton in the backstage area and getting his emphatic pound of flesh. Randy Orton might be out. God only knows how long this beatdown's been going on for. Camera's just catching up to it. Randy Orton was just sent right to that glass window. Bobby Lashley with no mercy, no remorse towards the apex predator. The man who dropped him with an RKO on the concrete floor over a month ago, sending Randy Orton to the elevator. Where are those two men headed now? Oh my goodness, developing story in the backstage area. But we must refocus as a town down under. Randy Orton's recent running buddies may have been taken off guard by the actions they saw on the Jumbotron. Theory crashing and burning moments ago. Rey Mysterio hot on his heels. Hopefully cameras can catch up with Lashley and Orton and see what the hell's going on back there. But Rey Mysterio and Austin Theory continuing to duke it out here on SmackDown. Certainly a high stakes matchup as the number one contendership for the WWE Tag Team titles is on the line. The winners of this contest will meet Angel and Birdo in the near future. Sunset flip to the outside. Rey Mysterio has completely, along with Santos Escobar, turned this matchup upside down for a town down under. And by the sounds of it, I believe Columbus, Ohio is in full support of the Emperor of Lucha Libre as well as the Hall of Famer. And Mysterio, oof. down goes Grayson Waller. Down he goes again. Mysterio back inside the ring, may have given Austin Theory a little bit too much time to recover. Maybe not. Mysterio goes behind. And I think we know what comes next. Six, one, nine. And springboard. LWO in the win column, not just yet, thanks to the Aussie icon. Rey Mysterio dropping the dime on Theory. Unfortunately, Grayson Waller not allowing a three count. Frog splash by Escobar. Austin Theory completely taken off his game after a town down under witnessed what Randy Orton was going through on the screens back in the backstage area and now on the shoulders phantom driver business has picked up and the LWO are number one contenders what a way to kick things off here on SmackDown. An exciting tag team matchup with two teams that know each other extremely well. The reemergence of the almighty Bobby Lashley in the backstage area. LWO get another round with Angel and Berto. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of the devils. Angel and Berto using their tag team titles as a pair of weapons. Down goes Escobar. Down goes Mysterio. Angel and Berto sending a message to their rivals in the LWO that the titles aren't going anywhere. Coming your way on Saturday night, September 14th. 
Witness the aftermath of the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, as WWE and Noah Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present No Mercy! No Mercy comes to you live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss championship flashes, personal battles, high stakes, and high rewards. All on the line on the 14th of September at WWE No Mercy! Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in the Nationwide Arena, and I think we have an answer as to why Bobby Lashley was sending Randy Orton into that elevator. Things have spilled out here in Columbus, Ohio. The Almighty is back, and he's looking for his pound of flesh over the man who put him on the shelf last month in London. Randy Orton could not have been expecting this tonight. Going for an RKO, but Lashley's been there before. He has read that book. Orton coming up short to The Rock last Saturday at SummerSlam. And now he's feeling the wrath, dare I say the demons of his past, in the Almighty. These two men swapping victories in the early part of spring, and it has boiled over to this personal rivalry in the late half of summer. Orton set inside the ring. Lashley's got his eyes locked. Could have been going for a hurt lock there. Trying to dish out some punishment to the Apex Predator. Randy Orton trying to fight back, but Bobby Lashley did not make the trip to Columbus, Ohio to get dropped with another RKO. Randy Orton, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. Cut in half with a spear. Randy Orton wanted to remind the WWE Universe just how dangerous he is. I think we're getting reminded just how dangerous Bobby Lashley can be. Lashley is back and Randy Orton has been put on notice. Last year, 16 of WWE's best cruiserweights clashed in an eight-week tournament to decide who stood above the rest at 205 pounds and under. This year, we do it all over again. Sunday afternoons at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, kicking off on September the 29th, 16 men representing SmackDown, NXT and TNA Wrestling will participate in the 2024 edition of the Cruiserweight Classic. With the field more wide open than ever before, who will scratch and claw their way to greatness and be crowned the winner of the historic Cruiserweight Classic? Well, somebody who knows all about the cruiserweight division is the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. I want to take you back to two weeks ago here on SmackDown in the middle of a cruiserweight title match between Butch and Tyler Bate. J.D. McDonough interrupting those affairs and making sure nobody was getting a satisfying ending on that night. Former cruiserweight champion in McDonough has been hell-bent on getting back the gold and certainly moved one step closer last week on SmackDown in the midst of a tag team main event. McDonough alongside Drew McIntyre, able to turn away Ilya Dragunov as well as Tyler Bate. And JD McDonough with the icing on the cake in the final moments, not only picking up the victory, but securing a three count over the Cruiserweight Champion of the World. J.D. McDonough is starting to make a valiant case for challenging the big strong boy, but the bruiserweight Butch has got unfinished business with both individuals. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Butch! 
Well, as Butch approaches the squared circle, it'll remind you about all the action that is to come in the month of September. Become a channel member today and don't miss WWE Live on Saturday night, September the 7th. Of course, No Mercy rolls into Montreal on the 14th. The first ever Queen of the Ring from Madison Square Garden on September the 21st. And the Cruiserweight Classic kicks off on Sunday night, September the 29th. But as for the Bruiserweight Butch and the Irish Devil J.D. McDonough, both of these individuals looking to stake their claim for another go around with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. These two men, no strangers to each other. Butch originally getting, oh wait a minute, hold that thought, J.D. McDonough ambushing the Bruiserweight before the bell could even sound. Certainly the ace up the sleeve of McDonough as he takes down Bruiserweight Butch from behind, starting this matchup on his own accord. J.D. McDonough never afraid to get his hands dirty and try to get the edge over his opponent. And that is what is happening before our very eyes here in Columbus, Ohio. Well, as we are about to mention, Butch originally gaining that opportunity to challenge Tyler Bate for the Cruiserweight Championship. After he defeated J.D. McDonough, I'll bite by count out here on SmackDown last month. That certainly did not sit well with JD and certainly played a factor in him interrupting Butch's occasion with Tyler Bate when the title was on the line several weeks back. JD McDonough was obsessed for months with winning the Cruiserweight Championship, finally obtained it in the month of May. Tyler Bate played spoiler, taking away the gold last month in London at Money in the Bank. Ever since then, JD has been looking for his opportunity to get back the title. After his actions the last couple of weeks, and most importantly, pinning Tyler Bate in the middle of the main event last Friday, J.D. McDonough may be an undeniable number one contender. As for the Bruiserweight looking to hang in there, taking out J.D. McDonough, and maybe get another go around with Tyler as well. And certainly with the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament approaching on the end of September, an eight-week tournament that's going to take the fall by storm here in the WWE. Participants from SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling are going to be taking center stage in Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. It's going to be an awesome tournament, and I am sure J.D. McDonough, Butch, and Tyler Bate would all love to be involved. J.D., big-time snap German that time. Takes out the Bruiserweight momentarily. JD, however, trying to keep his foot on the gas. Down goes Butch again. Bruiserweight has really started to break out on his own once again ever since joining Friday Night SmackDown. Spent the last year over on Monday Night Raw as a part of the Brawling Brutes. Found success in that trio. World Tag Team Champions at one time with Ridge the Fridge Holland. Rolling Brutes drafted to Friday Night SmackDown several months ago, but really their success and failures, if you will, have been brought upon by becoming single stars again. And the Bruiserweight is looking to carve out his own path here on the blue brand. Not if JD McDonough's got anything to say about it. Super Spanish fly from the top. Whether you like JD McDonough or not, nobody can deny his talents. What a way to take out Butch momentarily, but that is what makes Butch so difficult to defeat. The Bruiserweight just knows how to get down and dirty inside of that ring. Ground and pound offense that McDonough is finding out firsthand. And back and forth we start to go in this matchup here on SmackDown, similar to our opening contest as JD is looking to solidify himself as the next opponent for Tyler Bates' Cruiserweight title. Inside out goes Bush. The devil inside, however, does not put away the Bruiserweight. JD McDonough just looking to use Butch as a stepping stone, and I am sure Butch is looking for some retribution after JD McDonough spoiled his title affair a few weeks ago. And JD coming off the middle buckle that time, off the top as well. Now back to the feet goes Butch, but JD takes him down to size once more. And physical contest on both sides of the ring. Neither man looking to leave any stone unturned. A lot riding on this matchup individually for both Butch and J.D. McDonough, but who is going to get their hand raised on the other side of the bell? 
J.E. still into it. What a night it's been already. The LWO securing number one contendership. Celebration really wasn't to be thanks to the arrival of the tag team champions, Angel and Birdo laying waste to Mysterio and Escobar moments ago here on SmackDown. Already we have seen the reemergence as well of the almighty Bobby Lashley taking out Randy Orton. I am sure there's a lot of unfinished business there between those two individuals. Still so much more action to come here in Columbus, Ohio as Butch takes down J.D. McDonough at ringside once again. Remember what we said earlier on, last time these two men went one-on-one, -on -one, Butch was the victor via count-out. I'm sure it wasn't really intentional on that night, but if that's what he's got to do to get the victory, I don't think the Bruiserweight's going to be batting an eye. Oh, but J.D. McDonough obviously remembers the go-around last month on SmackDown and is not looking to see the ending in a disappointing fashion. Takes out Butch. Almost secured the three. Great contest this has been. I'm sure the big strong boy Tyler Bate has got his eyes locked on these two men who have been gunning for his Cruiserweight Championship over the last month here on SmackDown. JD and Butch, only the tip of the iceberg. There's a division full of talent. There's got to be eyeing up Tyler Bate as well as the Cruiserweight Classic at the end of September. Opportunity certainly starting to come about for the cruiserweight division here on SmackDown. And wait a minute here, JD McDonough just exposed the turnbuckle behind the back of Charles Robinson. Butch has got no idea. He was down and out momentarily. JD sending the bruiserweight right in the exposed steel. I don't think Charles had any idea, at least momentarily. But what's done is done and Butch is in trouble. Headbutt, Saido. J.D. McDonough pulls an ace out of his sleeve, uses the steel to his advantage, an underhanded victory, but a victory nonetheless. McDonough is putting together a case to challenge Tyler Bate all over again. Here is your winner, J.D. McDonough! I'll tell you right now, that is not going to sit well with the Bruiser Way Butch when he realizes what just happened and shakes off the cobwebs. He is going to be coming for JD, but the Irish Ace getting what he wants tonight, and that was victory. The first ever Queen of the Ring is approaching and stay tuned to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel tomorrow as the 16 participants for this very tournament will be revealed. The tournament kicks off this Monday night on Raw and continues next Friday right here on SmackDown. But it is time for tag team action, courtesy of that very women's division. The former women's world champion has got to be looking to bounce back after a disappointing outing last Saturday at SummerSlam. The following contest is a tag match set for one song. Introducing first, from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez had one hell of a reign as the women's world champion, but what was different in Detroit, Michigan this past Saturday? I think many believe Raquel was fighting an emotional battle. Stabbed in the back by Roxanne Perez last month as the prodigy wanted her opportunity at the women's world title, and it came back to haunt Raquel. Raquel very aggressive throughout the matchup, and in the end, she just got caught by a game Roxanne Perez, new women's world champion crown last Saturday night in Ford Field. 
Raquel disappointed, and I'm sure this woman not very happy either. And her partner, representing the LWO from Queens, New York, Selena Vega! Well, on the road to Queen of the Ring, we make a pit stop at WWE Live Saturday night, September the 7th. It is for No Nation Gaming channel members only. Do yourself a favor, hit the join button down below or the link up in the cards and punch your golden ticket to WWE Live Saturday night, September the 7th. The LWO's first lady, Zelina Vega, has had her own issues with the prodigy Roxanne Perez. Wanted to do one good by her friend Raquel last month on SmackDown, challenging Perez to a battle. Unfortunately, it did not go the way of Zelina Vega. Vega still wanting that revenge over the new women's world champion. And speaking of the champ, she has arrived here on SmackDown. Roxanne Perez certainly was not afraid of making a couple of enemies on her way to the top. And you can't say she didn't make the right decision. The gold is now around the waist of the prodigy. Roxanne Perez might have cut her ties with the likes of Zelina Vega and Raquel Rodriguez and anybody who she deemed a friend in the SmackDown locker room, but she got what she wanted, the new Women's World Champion. The question here tonight is who did Raquel, who did Raquel Rodriguez, who did Roxanne Perez, we should say, call upon for this tag team matchup? A question we need an answer to right here in Columbus, Ohio. Well, get a load of this. A hometown native who has not been in action in quite some time here in the WWE. The goddess, Alexa Bliss, is here on Friday Night SmackDown and has answered the call for the Women's World Champion, Roxanne Perez. Well, Raquel and Zelina could not have been expecting this, looking up and down the women's division, seeing who was gonna align themselves with the Prodigy tonight. On any given Friday, surprises to be had. And hometown native in Alexa Bliss is back here tonight on SmackDown and is teaming up alongside the Women's World Champion. Well, certainly the Annie upped, a former champion, standing alongside the current as the bell has sounded and Raquel Rodriguez, as expected, coming hot out of the gate. Raquel needs to be careful. We said it moments ago, we said it at SummerSlam, fighting an emotional battle might have gotten in her own way. Does not want to do that again here tonight. Cost herself as well as Alina Vega. Another victory as the Women's World Champion goes for a ride. Raquel Rodriguez fought some difficult battles in her road to becoming and holding on to the championship. Well, there was defeating, I should say, Shayna Baszler, Io Sky, Asuka, Raquel Rodriguez proved to be resilient. But the difference between all those battles and the battle with Roxanne at SummerSlam was the personal vendetta that Raquel and Perez had against one another. Now the prodigy Roxanne Perez played her cards right, walked away of Detroit with the championship, and now is looking to go two for two against Selena and Raquel. Now a tag made to the returning goddess Alexa Bliss who could not have been on the radar for Zelina and Raquel here tonight on SmackDown. However, the Prodigy pulled this off, certainly proven to work out in her favor so far. Alexa Bliss got her start on the main roster right here on Friday Night SmackDown, a former SmackDown Women's Champion, Raw Women's Champion, Tag Team Champion as well. It has been several months since Alexa Bliss has been in action. Normally over on the Monday Night Raw brand, but back here on SmackDown tonight. Oh, well, little miscommunication that time. By Perez and, Bullet and Alexa Bliss, excuse me. No bound to happen. First time they're teaming up here tonight. Opposed to Zelina and Raquel. Good friends have teamed up on several of occasions here on SmackDown. And now that miscommunication pays the LWO's first lady dividends. And Zelina Vega, she ain't never been afraid to get her hands a little dirty. 
especially against somebody she despises like Roxanne Perez. Selena Vega took to social media last month to say she has got a score to settle with Perez. Called her a brat. And obviously now has put a target on her own back with the Women's World Championship. Selena Vega looking to get even here tonight, but not if Alexa Bliss has got anything to say about it. Back and forth, pinfalls. Charles Robinson right there. And no. Great wrestling by these two ladies here on SmackDown tonight. Still to come, Ludwig Kaiser of Imperium throwing out the challenge to the new World Heavyweight Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Rhodes never wanted to turn away a challenge. After defeating Guther this past Saturday, I am sure the American Nightmare is not feeling 100%, but if Ludwig Kaiser wants to go around, Cody Rhodes gonna step up to the plate. Rhodes and Kaiser meet in your main event later tonight here at Columbus, Ohio. Fresh legs on both sides of the squared circles. Raquel and Roxanne reignite that flame from this past Saturday at SummerSlam. I'll tell you another thing that the prodigy Roxanne Perez really brought to the table was a certified game plan that worked out in her favor. Raquel Rodriguez has thrived in the back half of championship matches in deep waters, in championship rounds, if you will. It was not a long fight at SummerSlam. Roxanne Perez was effective in her outing and defeated Raquel Rodriguez before she could see that back half of the matchup that Raquel has been known to be resilient in. The prodigy certainly proving to be among the best, not just here on SmackDown, but in the WWE. And the reason she holds the gold here tonight. Look at this. Roxanne Perez taking down the much stronger Raquel Rodriguez down to size. I'm sure Raquel, as well as Zelina Vega, would love a one-on-one -on -one go around with the women's world champion, but tonight it is a tag team bout and victories of the utmost importance. They gotta think on the fly as they are dealing with a returning goddess, Alexa Bliss, here tonight on SmackDown. Gotta think on your feet. Gotta rewind the clock in your own mind. This is where doing your homework and knowing your opponents would normally pay you dividends, but nothing they can do as Alexa Bliss is proven to be the aggressor here on in this tag team matchup tonight on SmackDown. If we can get it out. There's some signature offense out of the Goddess. Former champion, as we said, taking down a former champion, Raquel Rodriguez. Bliss coming off the top, crash and burn. Raquel sidesteps. Alexa, shake it off the cobwebs. Down goes Raquel. Raquel might have just got rocked. Off the DDT, that could have been it. If it's not for the first lady of the LWO in Zelina Vega. We've got ourselves a hell of a tag team matchup. Second tag team bout here tonight. Number one contendership was on the line at the top of the hour. It certainly could be a same story here in this matchup as Raquel and Zelina. If they get even with Roxanne Perez and of course punch their ticket for the Women's World Championship. Alexa Bliss finding out firsthand why Raquel has taken 2024 by storm. What a neck breaker. And damn near almost had this matchup won, but Alexa Bliss still alive. Raquel has beaten some of the best of them throughout this year thus far. I'm sure Raquel would love to prove that Roxanne was just a bump in the road. Easier said than done. Tonight could just be a chapter in the long story of the women's world champion Roxanne Perez, and I am sure a very angry and motivated Raquel Rodriguez. Selena Vega tagged in, trying to pick up the speed, but Alexa Bliss bringing her back down to size. Selena not expecting the goddess here tonight, and it is showing that Roxanne Perez made the right decision. We have got women's tag team action on hand here in Alexa Bliss's hometown of Columbus, Ohio. And it's set to continue up next here on SmackDown. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line.
on velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of velocity. We're back here in the Nationwide Arena, and Zelina Vega may have just put it away the returning Alexa Bliss, but Bliss is still alive. This capacity crowd here in Alexa Bliss's hometown of Columbus, Ohio, showing their appreciations for what has been an extremely competitive tag team outing on both sides of the ring. Zelina Vega wanting to get even with Roxanne Perez. Does not disagree, or should say does not agree with the new attitude of the prodigy. Zelina looking for her revenge here tonight. Raquel Rodriguez, somebody who lost the Women's World Championship last Saturday at SummerSlam. Looking to get back her gold. Roxanne put in a position to pick a tag team partner, and boy did she ever score a superstar of the highest caliber of the returning Alexa Bliss tonight. Certainly making for one hell of a tag team contest so far here on Friday Night SmackDown. Tag made of the Women's World Champion herself as Roxanne Perez is not looking to see defeat just days after winning championship gold at the biggest party of the summer. Selena, however, with different plans, head first off the canvas goes Perez. And might have put her away there for one for Alexa. Selena Vega, eyes locked on the current Women's World Champion, Perez in trouble, code red. She got her, Selena Vega has pinned the champion. Raquel Rodriguez and Selena Vega both coming to Columbus, Ohio tonight with a point to prove, revenge in mind, sticking it to the new Women's World Champion and boy, did they ever. Here are your winners, the team of Raquel Rodriguez and Zelina Vega. Roxanne Perez finding out that with the championship comes a whole new target on her back. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. Next week, Friday Night SmackDown heads to the Heritage Bank Center in Cincinnati, Ohio, and already signed the United States Champion, Carmelo Hayes returns to action for the first time since Saturday night's main event. Also, last week, right here on the blue brand, moments after retaining their tag team championship gold, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark confronted by Asuka and Io Sky, seemingly throwing down the challenge for the tag team titles. Well, they have got to earn their opportunity, and they got an opportunity to move one step closer next week as the genius of the sky, EO Sky, is set for one-on-one -on -one action against one half of the tag team champions, Zoe Stark. That's next week here on SmackDown. Last Saturday night at SummerSlam in Detroit, the ring general's dominant reign as world heavyweight champion came to a screeching halt by hands of the 2024 King of the Ring winner. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, takes his rightful place sitting on the throne at the top of Friday Night SmackDown. And the king has got his crown around his waist. The 
the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion, the American What a moment it was this past Saturday at the biggest party of the summer. But as world heavyweight champion, Cody Rhodes knows what comes with the territory. Just as we said with Roxanne Perez moments ago, a brand new target on the back of the American Nightmare. When you sit at the top, you got everybody coming up underneath of you, trying to tear you down, trying to take away your coveted and hard fought for world heavyweight championship. The title may not be on the line tonight, but it does not take a genius to figure out Imperium's game plan. Ludwig Kaiser, a man who was victorious last week on SmackDown against Chad Gable, throwing out the challenge. Cody Rhodes had to believe that Imperium was gonna be targeting him. These two gentlemen were not welcomed at ringside. This past Saturday, thanks to the two-on-one handicap victory several weeks ago. I am sure Guther wants back his title. Tonight, they start down the road to reclaiming that throne. And his opponent, accompanied by Giovanni Vinci, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds. Well, we talked about that two-on-one handicap loss for Imperium, but you can't say Vinci and Kaiser have not been victorious more often than not. Kaiser and Vinci both picking up victories over the last seven days of Ralpha Academy's master Chad Gable. Ludwig Kaiser especially, you gotta commend him for stepping up tonight and challenging the world heavyweight champion Cody Rhodes. No matter the result, Cody Rhodes is in for a fight. He cannot be feeling 100% after the war of attrition that was SummerSlam. But here we are. Cody Rhodes' first SmackDown as World Heavyweight Champion, and he is finding out firsthand what it's like to sit on top of the SmackDown Kingdom. It has been a great night of action here in Columbus, Ohio, full of surprises, full of victories, full of defeats, contenders being crowned. But clearly an unfinished story between Cody Rhodes and Imperium is at the helm. Certainly this capacity crowd here in the Nationwide Arena in Columbus, Ohio, firmly behind the new World Heavyweight Champion, Cody Rhodes, as this main event is underway. Ludwig Kaiser, I'm sure, is coming out here with some kind of strict orders from the ring general, Gunther, to take out the World Heavyweight Champion tonight. Cody Rhodes has proven to be a kryptonite to Gunther now, not once but twice at back-to-back -back Summer Slams, ending championship reigns on both sides of the field for Gunther. I am sure the ring general has already been stirring up a plan to get back his world heavyweight title that he held so covetedly. Starts here tonight as Ludwig Kaiser tries to take out the champion, but Cody Rhodes proving to be one hell of a fight already. We saw everything that Guther dissed out to the American Nightmare last Saturday night, even including that avalanche powerbomb that prior to SummerSlam, nobody had ever kicked out of Cody Rhodes, the difference maker. Not one, not two, but three crossroads. Finally, the exclamation point on Guther's dominant reign at the top of SmackDown. New face of the blue brand in the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And now comes the second half of this book. And that's what can Cody Rhodes do to push the world championship forward as Ludwig Kaiser taking advantage of an exposed turnbuckle by Giovanni Vinci. Imperium never afraid to bend the rules. To no surprise, Cody Rhodes in a matter of an instance taken down by the numbers game of Kaiser and Vinci.
And this is why Cody was so daring to throw out the challenge several weeks ago in the two-on-one handicap match. He knew if Kaiser and Vinci were in Ford Field last Saturday, his chances of becoming champion were going to be drastically different. Cody was able to even the odds back in Ford Field at SummerSlam. But tonight, the odds are with Imperium. The numbers are with Kaiser and Vinci. And Ludwig Kaiser proving to be an equalizer to the American Nightmare. Vinci getting involved, and it's been a whole different story ever since. Oh, look at Cody taking the fight to Geo. Don't want to turn your back on the dastardly Ludwig Kaiser, however. Cody Rhodes now. This is the fight. Right back, reversal for reversal, and Kaiser takes down the World Heavyweight Champion. Victory of the utmost importance for Imperium tonight to start Cody Rhodes' championship reign off on the wrong note. Cody, however, just trying to get out of enemy territory back inside the ring. Here comes Kaiser. Cody Rhodes saw it coming from a mile away. Down he goes. 2024 King of the Ring winner, toppling Gunther in the main event of SummerSlam, new World Heavyweight Champion. Cody Rhodes looking to keep his momentum sky high after what has been a roller coaster summer to say the least. Another counter by Kaiser. You can't say Kaiser isn't giving the American Nightmare a fight tonight here on SmackDown. It's all about getting Imperium's mojo back, and tonight is just the first chapter of it. Once again, taking down Cody Rhodes. Second figure four submission hold we have seen. Kaiser may know something that Gunther does that we don't. Cody Rhodes may be feeling the effects of SummerSlam and Kaiser's trying to soften up the American nightmare that much more, but Cody Rhodes going for the kill off the pedigree. Kaiser still alive, but Cody Rhodes bringing one hell of a fight right back to Ludwig Kaiser. Hell of a main event thus far as Giovanni Vinci trying to take the World Heavyweight Champion's eye off the ball. Kaiser trying to take advantage. Down he goes. Misses off the elbow. Cody Rhodes stops dead in his tracks. Cody Rhodes breaking things down to a fight here on SmackDown. Be careful what you wish for. Kaiser threw out the challenge. Cody Rhodes accepted. Rhodes still on top of his game, following the biggest party of the summer. And Tope Suicide to the outside. Down goes Kaiser. And Cody Rhodes turning his sights to Vinci. He gets one as well. Safe to say that the American Nightmare... Uh oh, wait a minute. Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's walking down the aisle. Wait a minute. Cody Rhodes turn around, Drew McIntyre from behind. McIntyre interrupting this valiant effort by the World Heavyweight Champion against Ludwig Kaiser in your SmackDown main event. Well, Drew McIntyre finally defeated Ilya Dragunov in their third outing this past Saturday at SummerSlam, and you had to believe McIntyre finally finds himself in a position to get back the championship he lost last year. Claymore kick to Cody Rhodes. Drew McIntyre hell bent, damn near obsessed with winning the world championship back. Oh no, Cody might just want to stay down. Second Claymore kick by McIntyre. Drew out to make a statement here tonight. He did not give a damn who left SummerSlam with the gold. McIntyre has one intention in mind, becoming World Heavyweight Champion.